break your Bibles quickly with me to Hosea chapter 9 verse 7. Hosea, Hosea chapter 9 verse 7. Hosea chapter 9 verse 7. Hosea is right after the book of Daniel. And before the book of Amos in the Old Testament. Hosea chapter 9 verse 7. God bless everyone and apostolate for joining us. Amen. And everyone who has made it tonight, I pray you receive something even more special in Jesus' name. Amen. Hosea chapter 9 verse 7. It reads, and I quote, The days of visitation have come. The and so shall it be unto you. Amen. So shall it be unto you. Amen. May God use your life as an experimental tool tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hosea 9 7. The days of visitation are come. The days of recompense are come. Amen. Israel shall know it. Amen. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. For the multitude of the iniquity and the great hatred. Father, bless the reading of your word. In Jesus' name. Please be seated. Like I said, I came here to pray for you whilst I'm preaching. So as the word is being released, that could be your prophetic word for the evening. So make sure you are catching it with the right mindset tonight. Bring on the keyboard a bit, just a bit. Now, Hosea chapter 9 verse 7, it says, The days of visitation are come, the days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. For the multitude of thy iniquity and the great hatred. Child of God, I bring you a word charge titled, The Abnormality. Of a prophetic instructions to normalize all situations. I repeat that. The abnormality of a prophetic instruction to normalize all situations. The abnormality of a prophetic instruction to normalize all situations. I listen to me. Yes, sir. The abnormality of a prophetic instruction to normalize all situations. The Bible says in Hosea chapter 9 verse 7, it says the days of visitation are come. The days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. Someone said the prophet is a fool. The prophet is a fool. He says, the spiritual man is a madman. Mm. The spiritual man is mad. Child of God, I want you to know something about the prophetic ministry. It's not a normal place. Every true anointed prophet of God never gives you a normal instruction. Mm. Every normal instruction cannot abnormalize your situation. Normal instructions cannot shake the devil out of your life. Normal instructions cannot shift you to the next gear in life. For you to change level, you need something abnormal. For you to change level, you need an instruction that looks abnormal, sound abnormal, appears abnormal. But when you engage an abnormality in the prophetic, when you engage abnormality through the prophetic, Everything about your life becomes normalized. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 9, Hosea chapter 9, verse 7. It says, The prophet is mad. The prophet is a fool. And the spirit man, the spiritual man is mad. Mm. Listen, Hosea simply means oh the seer. Mm. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. When a prophet shows up, oh the seer is there. We see what you don't see. So because you cannot see it, we might give an instruction that looks crazy. We can tell you to jump and just dance when you have no reason to dance. But maybe God is trying to break you off your pride. So that you can ride in glory. Through the abnormality of the prophetic. The abnormality of the prophetic is important to, the, to, to you coming out of what? Abnormal situation. Listen to me. Normal prophetic instruction cannot bring you out of an abnormal situation. Mm. I'll prove it to you. COVID-19. Let's use that as an example. Now, do you have been told that the, the, the vaccine for COVID-19, it gives you the COVID-19? Yes? Yes? 
the vaccine gives you the symptoms of COVID-19. Mm -mm. Why? It builds your immune system against it. Do you know that the antidote of a snake bite is snake poison? You make snake, ant, snake, snake poison antidotes from a snake bite. Do you know that? Now, for you to be cured of the poison of a snake bite, the cure itself was gotten from a snake bite poison. I, I'm going somewhere tonight. So for you to change an abnormal situation, you need an abnormal prophetic instruction. Mm. For you to poison the poison of your life, you must poison it through a poisonous instruction. Are, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Your life cannot be normal when you are in an abnormal place through a normal instruction. An abnormal prophetic instruction abnormalizes an abnormal situation making you normal. Meaning, an abnormal prophetic instruction brings you to a place where you are now, your, your spiritual immune system can no longer be defeated by the, by, the, by the raging storm of your abnormal situation. But many people, when they hear a prophet give them an instruction, or thus says the Lord, do this and do that, they say the prophet is a fool. A spiritual man gets an instruction from God and he says, tell the people to roll on the floor. They say, what? Well, the man is mad. But listen, sometimes you need to get mad to come out of a mad place. You need to get mad to come out of a mad place. Let me give you an example. A man who was blind, he was called blind Bartimaeus. He heard Jesus was passing by. He didn't see Jesus, but his ears were active. The Bible says that as Jesus passed by, he, there was so much noise. He asked someone, who is passing by? He said, Jesus. Blind button was by, he started screaming. The more they silenced him, he screamed more. Meaning, he got mad of his situation to receive his sight. If the man did not lose his composure and his decency, and his comport state and his conservative nature, Jesus would have passed by without his healing. Oh, the, the very thing that changed blind Bartimaeus' blind status to a sin man was his mad, mad behavior. How can a disturbing, a disturbing character, a disturbing behavior, we call it, um, 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 Public, when you report to the police, when people are making us, what is what, what do you, what's the word you use in this country? Public disorder. Uh, public disorder. Antisocial behavior brought healing. Antisocial behavior people get fined and arrested for brought healing. Listen, child of God, there are some times you go before God forgetting who you came with, what you look like. You might be a lady, but it's time to act like an animal. So that the glory of your laziness can come back from God. Yes, sir. Are you understanding me? There is someone here tonight, 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 tonight. Yes. I don't care what has followed you to this place. Mm -hmm. As you forget who you are in the presence of God, yeah. you are living here a changed man. Amen. You are living here a changed woman. Amen. You are living here a changed man. Amen. You are living here a changed woman. Amen. You are living here a changed man. Amen. You are living here a changed woman. Amen. If you are, if you believe somebody shout, I am not normal. I am not. Normal. And I refuse to be normal. I refuse to be Someone normal. Say, I am not normal. I'm not normal. And I refuse to be normal. I refuse to be Someone normal. Say, I am not normal. I'm not normal. I refuse to be normal. I refuse to Lift be normal. Lift your power. Power. Let's be seated. The abnormality of a prophetic instruction to normalize all situations. What does it mean when something is abnormal? Write this down. Abnormal simply means deviating from what is normal or usual. Typically in a way that is undesirable or worrying. You come to church. You are the one shouting. I receive, I receive, I receive. And people are saying, that is not a desirable act. You should, you should compose yourself. Come on. A king called David. When he saw that the Ark of Covenant was returned back to his, his, his vicinity, 
he stripped himself of his pride and royalty and started dancing madly and undesirably in front of his servant that it cost his own wife to cause him. So how can a king be belittling himself before his servant? But child of God, that was what also further established God's covenant with the house of David. And through that descendant, Jesus came. If you still come before the Lord, you come in one way, you are living the same way. Mm. Don't blame God. At all. Many of us, we are too big to understand that it's when you bring yourself down, God then really lifts you up. That's right, sir. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. We've become, many people come to church too potent. Where do God then act? Mm. Make yourself important before God mm. by becoming unimportant. Then it make you an important person. Deviating from what is normal or unusual, typically in a way that is undesirable or worrying. What are the synonyms of abnormal? Number one, unusual. Number two, uncommon. Number three, un non typical. Number four, irregular. Number five, unconventional. I repeat that. Synonyms of the word abnormal, unusual, uncommon non-typical, irregular, and unconventional. Unconventional. John chapter 9 verse 6. God says, and when, he had, when, and when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with clay. If you look at John chapter 9 verse 10, after he had anointed the blind man how with clay, he sent the man, he took the man and he washed his eyes with water, the clay water. And I came out, the place, the place that he was blind. Says, Therefore said they unto him, how were thy eyes open? An unconventional act. An unconventional act produced a miracle. Jesus could have said, eyes open. Many of you come before the Lord expecting his servant or even the Lord himself just say, you know what, take one million. Or receive your miracle there. Mm. The Lord can say, stand on this chair, lift one leg and just shout. And that produces healing on the leg pain you've had for 14 years. Unconventional. For, to receive certain miracles from God, you must live the conventional way of serving Him. In this season where God has instructed, instructed us through His Spirit to pray in this house, if you are still giving the Lord the same dance step of 2020, 2019, you were dancing 2013, you were like this. Jesus. 2021, you are still dancing like Mr. Bean. Come on, change it. Mm, too stiff. Go unconventional. The best dance to give God is the one people cannot understand. That's right, sir. Because when pain comes, can you understand pain? At all, sir. That's why it is discomforting. Mm. Why don't you discomfort yourself breaking down low to the law? Many of you are too conventional in the house of God. Mm. You are too conventional with your faith in receiving from God. Don't worry, when I come, we we'll just have 10 minutes prayer, then we we'll sit down and ten, five minutes praise, and we'll go. People are praying. Some say amen. You enter one corner and you are blasting tongues. Father, I will not let you go unless you bless me tonight. Unconventional unconventional i pray tonight through this period of praise every unconventional dance you rest to god amen this 2021 you shall excel amen you shall excel amen you shall excel amen this 2021 through your unconventional work with god i prophesy prophesy you shall excel amen you shall excel amen you shall excel amen you shall excel amen lift your voice i shall excel i shall excel please be seated quickly the synonyms of abnormal means unusual uncommon non-typical irregular unconventional when was the last time you went unconventional with god when was the last time you did something irregular? Many of us have become too, too predictable to God. Mm. Too predictable in our ways. When was the last time the Lord said, wow, I'm surprised. You did this? You, wow, you, you did this? Many of us have become too predictable. 
it, 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 it is just it is just James. That is that is his, that is how he does it. God tested Job. Job chapter one, Job chapter two. He told them, "Have you tried? Have you considered my servant Job?" That was an unconventional pattern. How can God send the devil to go tempt a man who was faithful in his ways? What God also required back in return was an unconventional response from Job. Will he still honor me and serve me through it all? Will he still honor me and praise me despite losing it all? Many of you, God is giving you an unconventional test. You are now, you, are, you become so predictable, you show him indeed you are what the devil has said don't worry it's not this one he's speaking in tongues wait just cease his peace for two days frustrate him for one week oh lord you will see because your face and bam, you cause god less than two minutes it's easy to speak in tongues and shout jesus i love you of course when the thing everything looks nice when you have a bit of a bit of peace but we used to say that when the going gets tough and your boat is rocking, mm. we do still we do still sacrifice. We need to go all the way. I want you to write down these five things tonight before we pray. Things to know about abnormal instruction. If you want to change your life, things to know about abnormal instruction. If you want to change your life, number one, abnormal instruction. Requires absolute obedience and faith to receive normality. You want to change your life? You must engage abnormal instruction. The prophetic one. Prophetic abnormal instruction. So what is it about this abnormal instruction that brings change? Number one, I said, abnormal instruction requires your absolute obedience and faith to receive normality in life. John chapter 2 verse 5. And the mother of Christ said to the servant, Whatsoever he said unto you to do, do it. John 2 5. Whatsoever he commanded thee to do, do it. Absolute instructions. Jesus came back. Imagine a wedding where they had guests. VIPs. They are just supposedly because in the, in the tradition of the Jews, every wedding they serve the best wine first. Mm. Nobody, it, it is it's a taboo to serve the best wine last in Israel. Mm. So the wine they run out of wine at the wedding, which again is a taboo. And Jesus, Mary showed up. He said, Whatever he tells you to do, referring to Jesus talking to the servant. Do it. Many of you get an instruction. You want to try and phantom it for the prophet. The Lord said, go and fast and pray two weeks. You want to phantom it. You know, Lord, you know, I cannot fast. I can't do six to six. Can I do six to one? Do you think God don't know that that remaining five hours after 1 p.m. is pivotal? too? He doesn't know it's going to be hard for you. What if that, what if God wants you to push beyond your limit for the first time? So you actually push and go beyond the limitations for the rest of your life. Your absolute obedience and absolute faith to abnormal instruction is what brings normality. Mm. And we know what happened in John chapter 2, verse 6, verse 7, and verse 8. How Jesus turned water into wine. He told them, fill the jars with water. Imagine me coming to your wedding. Eh? Then you see someone go to the wine bar and start filling the wine press with water. What will you do? Won't you take security to throw them out? Yes, Don't want to spoil, you want to spoil my wedding. That's how people say, the pastor wants to spoil my life. But God told your pastor to give you an instruction. Mm. In your obedience through an instruction that seems abnormal, comes the normality of your life you become you become the entity what see do not this world this world we live in has made many of us deviate from the normality that god designed desires for us so what we call normal god sees as abnormal mm. it's not god's intention for us to 
be enslaved by this system. The Bible says we will lend to nations. Yes, sir. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. We will lend to nations. But many of us are so dependent on the system and the pocket of nations. So we have been reprogrammed, devalued, and deviated from what God says as normal. But when pastors try to teach this to people that what we are pursuing is not normal, we say, Pastor don't want me to walk. He doesn't want me to fix my life. A young boy was telling me sometime, he was telling, spreading rumors, don't mind Prophet John. He doesn't want me to go and do, fix my life. He's a millionaire now, Nabi. He's a millionaire now. He has made all the money. Absolute faith and what? Absolute obedience. Jesus left divi divine, divine status to our carnal status to die for us. Humble unto death. Absolute obedience. Look at the faith there. Jesus had absolute faith that he believed that the father knew what he was doing. If not, he would have argued his way out of death. He believed that the father must know what he is doing. How many of you believe that God knows what he is doing even when he's silent? How many of you believe that God knows what he is doing even when the going gets tough and he's telling you to take a tougher turn? How can I not have eaten for two days? Instead of God providing food for me, he's telling me to fast extra three days. How can I be talking about homelessness? But yet he's telling me to go and focus on preaching to others who are homeless and making sure they have a house. Abnormal instruction in an abnormal situation. If you're expecting God to react to your pressure and give you an, an instruction that is pleasing, that is not of God. No instruction of God is, is easy to execute. So. You need obedience and faith. Not obedience. Obedience and faith. There are some obedience that requires faith. Mm. Mm. Some obedience or every obedience to God's word requires your, the fullness of your faith. If not, you will disobey at some point. I prophesy that every instruction that is meant to change your level this year. When those instructions come, no matter how abnormal it might sound, I pray for you. I Jesus. decree, I declare the that the spirit of obedience, the spirit of faith, yes. shall be alive in you to not miss out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Number two thing to know about abnormal instruction. I'm giving us four points tonight. Abnormal instructions requires you to put God first, which then gives access to God's standing concerning your life. You want to know what God's stance is concerning your life. You need, ab you need what? You need to put God first. When God gives you an instruction that seems it's about to God's instruction looks like it's about to destroy your life. Still put him first. Put that instruction first. The Bible says in the book of 1 Kings chapter 7 verse 13. Tell us about Elijah. 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 And the widow of Zarephath. In a, a pandemic of hunger. We are, we are going through a pandemic of a virus. But then they had an hunger pandemic. Hmm. Hunger pandemic, meaning the stomach of people were battered by hunger. People were lacking food and lacking drink. The land was barren and lacking rain. Because prior to that, Elijah was being fed in the brook. By Jehovah sending a raven to feed him daily and the water that came from the brook. Bible said, and the Bible further said, as a, as a season in life, the water of the brook dried up. Please listen to me. The water of, a, of the brook dried up and the raven stopped sh showing up. Mm. Now watch this. And the Bible says, and God said to Elijah, get thee up. I've prepared thee a widow in Zarephath. Now hear me. Do you know that 
the widow was not prepared for Elijah. There is no place in the Bible that tells me God appeared to the widow and said a prophet is coming. Let God tell me first what to do before that, that, small, that small boy can tell me what to do. There is no place in first things that say God appeared to the widow of Zarephath. But yet God said to Elijah, I have prepared thee a widow in Zarephath. Many people think that when the need of a prophet or a man of God arises around you, you think the pastor is trying to beg you. Mm, mm, mm. Now, you think about it. If the God of Israel, the God of heaven and earth, creator of all things, could send a bed to feed Elijah daily with the food from the kitchen of Jehovah, drinking clean, pure water from the brook, if that same God could feed Elijah with that headache, what stopped him from doing it? Elijah was meant to sustain the widow. But it would have required the widow's own what? Ability to put God first before a stomach. Yes, sir. The word stomach there is many people put their ambitions first. The needs of their life first before God's word. Every prophetic instruction you receive from God that requires you to put God first beyond your career, beyond your desire to make it in life, beyond your desire for your big status, for your frontline status. Every prophetic instruction like that, hold it with your life. Elijah, God created a need for Elijah. Oh, God created a need in Elijah to bring sustenance to the widow. If not, the widow would have ate her last and die. Listen to me. The Lord told me when I was preparing, they said, many people think they are building a career and they put me behind. They fail to understand that the next step they're about to take could be their last step. Are you listening to me? Say, the next step so many people they're about to take could be their last step. So, I see it and I try to show up. But when I show up, I give them an an instruction that looks abnormal but they think I am trying to stop them from advancing what you see as advancement can be your what? Symmetry what you see as advancement sometimes what you see as advancement to gather your basket of blessings could be the casket of your death so God will send an instruction that seems abnormal because by that time your mind is already programmed in a certain way on how you will succeed, on how you will survive. But God is trying to show you that I have the better way on how to survive. That what, oh Lord, is a lamp unto my feet and a light to my path. Meaning it is God's words that bring direction. No matter what you're going through, no matter how knowledgeable you are, there is something about God's instruction that, is, that still supersedes professorial degrees. Are you understanding me? The woman logically, she analyzed how much flour she had, how much oil she had, how much firewood she had, how much fire she had. And she said, once I prepare this meal, this should be our last meal. Because economically and logically, there's no where food will come from. God is not limited to your limits. Mm. Wow. God is not imprisoned by your struggles. And God cannot be tied by your chains. God is not limited by your limits. God is not capped by your struggles. He cannot be tied by your chains. Your dead end is God's start off point. Your dead end in life is always God's beginning. Mm. But are we ready to put him in front? The moment you put God in front of everything, a new way is created. Yes, sir. Because the Bible says it made a way in the wilderness. Even through wilderness, God still makes a way. Mm. Hey, listen to me. Yes, sir. Is there someone here who seems like your life has hit the dead hand? I prophesy tonight you are living here with the way. Amen. I prophesy tonight you are living here with the way. Amen. Jehovah the way maker is bulldozing through that dead end in the name of Jesus. Amen. I see you taking divine advancement steps. You are taking divine steps forward. Amen. You are taking divine steps forward. Amen. I want you to begin to walk forward prophetically. You are taking divine steps forward. You are taking divine steps forward. Financially, materially, maritally, in your career, creatively, 
in every aspect of your life you are moving forward you are moving forward I'm 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 moving forward instruction requires you to put God first. And Elijah in 1 Kings 7, 13, Elijah said unto her, fear not. What stops people from engaging abnormal instruction prophetically is because of the fear. What causes fear? The risk. How can a prophet tell me to not go to work for two weeks? Ha! Ah, the fear of losing your job. The risk of going homeless, the risk of not having money. Oh, I, that man must be stupid. Of course, he's a pastor. God called him. God did not call him. Eh? Fear not. Elijah quickly addressed her fear because her fear was the vehicle leading her to her death. Fear is the vehicle that leads to death. Fear is the vehicle, the transport system in the spirit that leads to many deaths. Some people have died nothing because they never, they never took the step of faith. Mm. The world take risk. They take risk and make it. Believers, we are still afraid even when we have the power of faith. Mm. Faith is a shield. Now taking therefore the, sh the shield of faith. Wherewith you may be able to withstand what? The very walls of the enemy. The shield of faith. Hebrews 11 2. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Faith brings good reports. Faith. Without faith it is impossible to please God. Faith please God. If the word faith please there means to move his hand. Number four, faith shows that you are indeed living because the just shall live by faith. No faith, you are a walking corpse. No faith, you are a walking corpse. Fear not, Elijah said to the widow in 1 Kings 13. Go and do as thou hast said, but first make me. Watch this. Yes, you want to walk. It's good. Go and walk, but first put me in front. The woman said, I want to make, watch this. The, the, the statement prior to this verse was that the widow told Elijah, I want to make our food, we eat and we die. Elijah said, that is fine. Before you go and do that one, first make for me. It means that even when you want to do what you want to do, first make room for God before taking your own steps. Yes, sir. First make room for God before taking your steps. Because in making room for God before taking your own step, you realize that your steps were wrong. And he will then show you the right way. This year, you will not walk in darkness. Amen. I said this 2021, you will not walk in darkness. Amen. I don't think you are hearing me. I said this 2021, you shall not walk in darkness. Amen. I said this 2021, you shall not walk in darkness. Amen. Your steps shall be ordered by the Lord. For the Bible says the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. Your steps you will not miss road this year. Amen. I want you to raise your right leg. I say your steps you will not miss road this year. Raise your left leg. I speak to your left leg. You will not miss road this year. Not miss road this now, year. I want you to begin to ask, I shall not miss my way this year. Someone say, I shall not miss my way this year. Now begin to speak your legs. Speak your legs. My legs, you will not miss your way this year. You begin to speak, prophesy to your legs. I shall not miss my way this year. Speak to your legs. I shall not miss my way this year. Shaba lava lava laga nasha. Hey, zada da yaba ladash. I shall not miss my way this year. I shall not. Hey, yaba laga dash. I prophesy. This year, you you will not miss your way. Amen. Those that have faith, put your feet on the floor. As you put your bare feet on the floor, I prophesy you will not miss your way this year. Amen. Because your feet are upon this mountain. Yes, sir. The Spirit of the Lord shall order your steps this year. Amen. It shall order your steps away from trouble. Amen. Order your steps into blessings. Amen. Away from trouble. Amen. Into blessings. Amen. Away from shame. 
into fame. Hey. Away from misery hey. into glory. Hey. Lift your legs, shout, I am blessed. I am blessed. And so shall it be. Please be seated. Thank you. Good. Chris Waters, stand here. I want to pray for you. There is something coming into your workplace. Your workplace have deprived you of what was meant to be a due promotion. You are meant to have been promoted by this time at your workplace. But it hasn't happened. Listen, because your feet are here, you will not only get promoted, but now hear me. I see new offers coming your way. Better jobs. See, between now and June, you will make good, you get good contract jobs that will enable you to change, change vicinity. Because as I pray now, I want to pray for, where's your partner? I want to pray for a new accommodation. Now, this is no longer wasting time. I, I, the, the, the resources and the finances for a new accommodation. I prophesy, receive it now in the name of Jesus. What deprived you? What made promotion work away from you? As because your feet is on this ground, promotion begin to work towards you. Promotion from the north, Amen. Promotion, promotion from the south, Amen. promotion from the east, Amen. promotion from the west. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. prophecy for one is prophecy for all. Amen. Everyone that has been deprived promotion despite your hard work. Yes, Lord. Deprived increase in wages despite your hard work. Whoa. Deprived your harvest despite your labor. Yes, I prophesy. prophesy. Your harvest comes now. Amen. 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 I receive it. I receive it. Number three. Abnormal instruction requires you to dispose of your high rank. So you can live a life of full tank of miracles. Abnormal instructions requires you to dispose of your high rank. Dispose of your high rank. For you to live a life on a full tank of miracles. I repeat that one more time. Abnormal instructions requires you to dispose yourself of your high rank for you to live a life on a full tank of miracles. For you to live a life on a full tank of God's glory, you must live life before God on a low rank. You can't be a general before God and expect him to lift you up. Yes, sir. Mm. Mm. Humble yourself before the Lord, the Bible says, and he shall what? Lift, lift you, you up. up. God resisted the proud, but gave it grace to the, humble. to the humble. Yes, sir. The word grace there is God's power in your race. Mm. God's power in your race. G for God power in your race. When God's power is involved in your race, you become an ace. Mm. Are you understanding me? Many believers, many people are a waste of space in this existence. Because why? They are running when the Bible says it's not by power. It's not by mind. But by my spirit said. Abnormal instructions requires you to dispose of your high ranking for you to live a life on a full tank of miracles. There was a man in the Bible that came before Jesus. The centurion servant. As soon as he was, he was talking to Jesus, he said, Jesus said, okay, let me follow you to your house. The man said, no. No need to call. Speak a word. A word. He, 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 he removed his rank. Many of you, you come before God too big. How can he lift you up? Where is the space for lifting? Where is the space for lifting? Where? When God really lifts you, to be big in God means bragging rights in God. When God has the bragging right of your life, that's when you are big. When God can boast of you, it's not what you have. Some people have Rolls Royce, but to God you are nothing. 
living in a mansion, but to God, you are a failure. While someone in the home is being celebrated by God as a big man. There was a man called Gideon. He sat under an oak tree as a nobody, supposedly. Hiding from the powers of his father's house. Afraid of the men from the camp of the enemy. And an angel of God appeared to Gideon under the oak tree. And the angel said, Gideon, O oh Gideon, thou mighty man of valor. Gideon said, who? Who? Which mighty man? This man sitting under an oak tree. Don't allow what your current situation looks like determine what you think about yourself. Mm. Mm. Your true status lies in God's thoughts about you. Your true status lies in God's mind concerning you. Your true status lies in how God perceives you. If God sees you a success, even though you might be currently going through bankruptcy, even though you might be currently going through liquidation, even though you might be getting bailiff knocking on your door, but if God sees you as a success, if he sees you a blessed man, child of God, that is what you truly are. I don't want you to determine your status by what you are going through. Child of God, status is in God's mind for you. The Bible says, I know my thoughts towards thee. They are of peace, not of evil, to give you an end of expectation. Can I prophesy here? Prophesy. This 2020, 21, I prophesy that God's mind shall reveal your status. Amen. I heard the Spirit of God say, you will walk in the fullness of my knowledge concerning you. Amen. You shall walk in the fullness of God's knowledge concerning you. Amen. You will not walk in foolishness anymore. Amen. You will not live life empowered by your own thoughts anymore. Amen. But you shall live life empowered by the thoughts of Jehovah. Amen. Can I pray for someone here? Pray, sir. In any way the enemy has belittled you by your position. Listen, you might have been in that position too long. You don't have a child, people now call you barren woman. You don't have a job, people call you jobless man. You don't have a marriage, they call you divorcee. Child of God, I see for you as a prophet. Hey, oh, the seer is here. And I see through God's eye for your life. Amen. And based on what I see, I prophesy. Prophesy. From this day, you are a financier. Amen. From this day, you are a married man. Amen. From this day, you are a married woman. Amen. From this day, you go from barrenness to fruitfulness. Amen. From this day, you go from the bottom to the top. Amen. Where it has been a casting down for others, it becomes a lifting up for you. Amen. Where it has been disappointment, I prophesy divine appointment in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lift your voice. At my level has changed. I want you to tell four people my level has changed. 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 In the name of Jesus. Please be seated. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 5, verse 10, the Bible says, Elisha told his servant, Go and tell Naaman. Elisha told his servant, Go and tell Naaman. Let him bathe, let him go wash seven times in the river Jordan. Naaman came with horses. Second Kings chapter 5, verse 9. And Naaman came with horses. Second Kings 5, 9. And Naaman came with his horses. You see that? And with his chariot. And stood at the door of the house of Elisha. Meaning, I am the general here. Let the man of God come outside. Many of you go before God, you want God to come aside. What achievements do you have that can surpass God's pockets? Psalm 50 tells us how God says, if I was hungry, I don't need to tell you because why? Everything you see in life is mine. Yes, sir. If God is to feed himself, he doesn't need to consult any man's kitchen or any man's pocket. That is why visions of God are sponsored by Jehovah's pocket through faith. Which gives you access to the realms of all possibilities. Yes, sir. Are you understanding me? Many of your visions are still dying. Because you are dependent, depending so much on the connection of your uncle. When you should depend fully on God's word. If God's word has given you a charge, men will follow. Great and small will follow. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. This 2021. Hear me. None of your vision will go without supplies. Amen. None of your vision will go without supply. Amen. 
none of your vision will go without supply Amen. none of your vision will go without supply Amen. can i pray for someone here pray as you reduce yourself before god as you bring down and lower your rank humbly before god i see god changing your status Amen. you shall live life on a full tank of miracles Amen. you shall live life on a full tank of wonders you shall live life on a full tank of divine performance Amen. divine intervention divine acceleration Amen. divine ascension Amen. divine elevation Amen. lift your voice shout my time has come my time has come Please be seated. and lastly before we pray tonight because after this we're going to take four prayer points four prayer tonight the last point about abnormal instruction remember the topic tonight is what the abnormalities of the prophetic to normalize your life to normalize all situations number four abnormal instructions requires you requires you engage an initial steps of faith in silence which then gives access to covenant blessings this one is so important I'll break it down abnormal instructions requires you engage an in initial steps of faith in silence someone say in silence in silence which then gives access to covenant blessings i'll break that one more time abnormal instructions requires you engage an in initial steps an initial step of faith in silence which then gives access to covenant blessings let me break it down to you there are some things the lord tell you to do shut your mouth your uncle might not be a wizard your auntie might not be a witch your best friend might not be possessed but because of their lack of faith they can kill your faith Number one, they can slow your pace. Mm. Because the kind of room and space you have created in you for God, they might not have the capacity of space already for God. So when you try to tell them what God told you to do, they will logically talk, talk you out of the steps you were meant to take. They will, they will analytically talk you out of the steps you were meant to take. Let me give you an example. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 22, Genesis chapter number 22 verse 2. The Bible says how? How? Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Genesis chapter 22 verse 2. The Bible tells us how? How God instructed Abraham to go slaughter his son Isaac. The Bible tells us how Abraham did not tell his, mo his wife, Sarah, what he was about to go do. There are some instructions God gives you. There are some instructions God tells you. Some things he wants you to do. The initial steps walk in silence. Walk in silence. Genesis 22 2, And he said, Take now thy son, thy only son. Take now thy son, thy only son, and what whom thou lovest. Sometimes before you receive the true blessings of God, he has to slaughter what you love the most. He has to slaughter what you love the most. Because why? For God to truly lift up a man and use a man, he cannot work with a man that is attached to something else. Mm. Mm. He will first... The, there has to be... If you love your wife more than God, God cannot use you as a man. Try. If you love your husband more than God, that marriage will not last. Mm. If you love your child more than God, God cannot give you access to covenant blessings it's a lie god don't use men with attachment the apostles had wives the bible didn't recognize the bible did not record their names no attachment many of you are too attached to your career more than you are attached to the giver of career you are attached to your career more than the god that gives you the ability to carry that career the career of your life you are attached to your child oh pastor 
prophet you don't understand i have waited 20 years to have this child prophet you don't understand i have waited 50 years to have this child prophet what do you know i took ivf and vif to get this child you dare not tell me that i can't take my child to swimming lessons what are you talking about you're just is it church church, church? don't worry don't worry god don't use men with attachment when I mean men, I'm not talking about the gender. I'm talking about mankind. God cannot use you when you are attached to something. When God says go, go is what? Go. Let me ask you a question. Why did God not tell Sarah to slaughter Isaac? Sarah was attached to Isaac than she was attached to God. When God gives you an instruction, especially as a visionary, that is why you see, I am not attached to anybody. I don't, the moment you cut off, you cut off for yourself. <laughs> is that, that's the same moment. Life goes on. You just see me singing the song. It was once a dream. I used to be close to her. It was once a dream. I used to be close to him. Once a dream. Eh? May you be not. You won't live life as once a dream. Amen. <laughs> You will live life a perfect reality in God's plan. Amen. You will live life a perfect reality in God's plan. Amen. You will live life a perfect reality in God's plan. In the name of Jesus. Amen. When God gives you a vision, you can't live life with attachment. Because attachment is a vision killer. Every vision of God is always a ridiculous instruction. There is no true vision God gives a man that makes sense. Abraham, Abraham, pack your things and get thee out of thy father's house, thy kindred and thy countrymen, to a land that I will show you. And the Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11, and Abraham through faith, sojourned, looking for a land whose foundations were not made by men, but were made by the hand of God. Madness. Abraham had to detach from his physical DNA to be attached to his spiritual DNA. Are you understanding me? Yes, sir. If you are too attached, my, 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 my wife, my husband, Adam was first in the will of God before Eve came. You want to marry, truly marry, you must first be in the will of God mm. before the wife or husband comes. Mm. I want a husband. I want a wife. Ah, this wife has not come. This wife has not come. If you are not planted fully in the will of God, you will be willed out of his presence by the wife or the husband when they come. Mm. You will be willed out. Will Baru. The wheelbarrow called emotion. Emotional blackmail. You don't love me. Every time you go into a shush, shush, shush. I don't like this for my husband. You have no passion. You have no care. You are a wife. You don't cook. I'm not saying as a wife you shouldn't cook because mama cooks for me. And she, she has to cook well. Correct, sir. But what I'm trying to say is a man knowing the importance of God in the heart of a woman and mm. vice versa. Am I communicating here? Yes, sir. If you're not planted and established in the will of God, you'll be willed out through emotions by others. Mm. When the vision of God is given to you, kill attachment. God don't use men who are emotionally attached to things. Yes, they can knock you down, but quickly, get up. This period, one of our fathers in the faith and the fathers of the faith, Pastor E.A. Adeboye, is celebrating 40 years of ministry. Yes, sir. As we speak, the whole world is celebrating him. Of course, why wouldn't they celebrate him? How many of them can walk his walk? Mm. They only talk the talk. <laughs> I shared a, testi a, testi a testimony with some of the ministers. I, I, I sent the link to some of the ministers today. I said, listen to what he said. Mm. He said 40 years ago, his father in the Lord called him as a young man, made him overseer. The people that gave him problem were the ministers. Of course. The people that gave him problem were ministers. But watch this. He, Adeboye said, 
he did not want to be used by he said he didn't want he didn't like any front line overseer position he had to kill his attachment to being at the back he had to kill his attachment to what he felt to what god is feeling to what is written in the stars concerning his life are you listening to me yes sir abraham abraham pick your son thy pick now get thy son one thy own god has a funny sense of humor god had to tell he, he, he had to make abraham know what that child meant to him get thy son yeah thy only son thy only son and that says thy son whom thou lovest can we have it up what are you putting up thy son whom thou lovest someone said thy son thy son someone said thy only son thy only son genesis chapter 22 verse 2 get thy son thy only son now i said the one that you he didn't say you love whom thou lovest and get thee into the land of Moria mm. and offer him there for a burnt offering upon one of the mountains which I will tell thee of. Now, God, you know, there are some times you walk with God, you think God is punishing you. Mm. If only you will forbear. Now, watch this. Let me break this down to you. You are dragging, now, for you to come to a, to, just to come to terms that you're going to slaughter your son, your only son, the one you love the most. Now, to go and slaughter him, God did not tell you where. So you are working with that pain and heaviness. And God is still saying, don't worry, I will show you where to kill him. Okay, if he says, okay, kill him in Egypt, you will, you will plan where in Egypt? In America, maybe you will find a very nice place. Imagine now you are walking and God just said, turn. Go and throw him in a well in Afghanistan. Go to Moria. He says, one of those mountains, I will tell you where to bury him. Many of you are going through a walk, a season with God now. God has said, that thing you want the most, that, that paper you want the most. Now follow me. I will make you live life with that direction. But can you see, trust me that I'm the driver of your life. No marriage. No money. Can you still trust me that I'm the driver of your life? And I'm able to drive this vehicle. You don't know where the next meal will come from. I will show you the mountain. The mountain. The mountain. The mountain. Many people have found themselves moving right now. The thing that they are praying about the most, the Lord is sacrificially making them drag it to a slaughter. Lord, 20 years, you said I should believe you. My life is going on. I came here as, at the age of 16. I am 46. I don't have paper. I want to go back. You said stay. But yet, you are not giving me the paper. Are you understanding me? There are people who are thinking like that. But will you believe God? Sure. That on one of those mountains lies your provision. On one of those mountains lies the solution. On one of those mountains lies the way out. On one of those mountains lies absolute direction to promotion. Listen, I want to pray for someone tonight. Pray, sir. You might have been given an abnormal instruction by the Lord to kill that which you love the most. To detach from that which you love the most. And it's been a struggle and a struggle and a struggle to just obey his word. The Lord said, come and follow me. But you're saying, Lord, how can I follow you? I don't have paper. How can I follow you? Follow you? Look at me. I am 50 something. No husband, no children. I am entering menopause to menopause stop. Look at me. If you're that person under the sound of my voice today. The Bible says, and God said to Abraham. Upon one of those mountains, I will show thee. The mountain where your solution lies, you will get there tonight. Amen. I don't think you're hearing me. That mountain that holds your solution, you will get there tonight. Amen. That mountain that holds your solution, you will get there tonight. Amen. 
the mountain with your provision the mountain with your promotion the mountain with your establishment the mountain of your settlement i prophesy prophesy you are getting there tonight amen just lift up your hands and say father father oh lord, oh lord. settle me settle me settle me lift settle. your voice and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray father settle me oh god settle me oh god Set me a God. Set me a God. For you and kneel before man, no way, no way. I cannot call on your name and end up in shame. No, 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 no way. situation and cares of life. So there's no way. Hama Shada I want you to sing that song prophetically. Hama Labo. Oh God Oh I cannot pray to you and be a prey to the devil say no way.
Start your year determines how the year flows. We are yet to cry to God. How can you call upon the name of the Lord and be put, in, put to shame? You exalt him and still end up in the pit. You're going to cry tonight. The first thing about the abnormal instructions it says absolute obedience and faith to the abnormality of God's word. Someone say, My father, my father. Father, my father, I cry to you, humility. I, I cry to you in humility. Tonight, oh God, tonight, oh God, that I shall live a life. I shall live a life of absolute obedience, of absolute obedience, and full engagement of faith, and full engagement to of faith. every instruction, to every instruction you've given me. You've given me. Lift your voice and begin to cry. Begin to weep to the Lord. God. Begin to weep. Begin to weep. Mashayabada, absolute instruction, oh God. We are crying, oh God, that we live a life of absolute instruction and faith to your word. Absolute instruction and faith to your word, to your word, Lord. We are crying that the grace to live in absolute obedience, absolute faith to your word. We cry, oh God, we cry, oh God, that you enable us to engage the abnormality of what seems to be your word. The abnormality of what seems to be a prophetic instruction. We are praying, we are praying, we are praying, we are praying, we are praying. We are praying, we are praying. We are praying, oh God, we are praying, we are praying. We are praying, oh God. We are praying, oh God. That the grace to live in absolute obedience. Absolute faith. As I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, help me put you first. Help me put you first in every aspect of my life. In every aspect of my life. Help me put you first. Help me put you first before anything of mine. Before my heart desires. Before my heart desires. Before my own happiness. Before my own happiness. Before my happiness. Before my happiness. Help me put you first. Help me put you Lift first. your voice and begin to cry. When a man put God first, he gets access to God standing concerning his life. You gain access to God standing concerning your situation. You gain access to God standing concerning your existence. You gain access to God standing concerning what you think about everything you are going through. When a man put God first, you gain access to God standing about you. Begin to cry, Lord, help me put you first. Break my will, O God. Break my will, O God. Help me submit myself to you. Help me submit my will to you. Help me submit my will to you. Help me put you abasha. Help me, Lord. Help me submit myself to you. Help me put you first. We better fire the prayer. You better cry. I will put you Help me put you first. Before my car desires. Before the mansion desires. Before the financial desires. Before the glory desires. Help me put you first. Before my marriage. Help me put you first. Before my children. I will make help me put you first. You. Before my children. Help me put you first. Before my children. It's you and help me put you first. Jesus. Help me put you first. You are help me put you first. 
of self exaltation every form of self exaltation in any way in any way i have pridefully carried myself i have pridefully carried myself before you before you knowingly knowingly or unknowingly or knowingly today today i make myself i make myself of no repute of no repute i reduce myself i reduce myself to nothing before you to nothing before i you. come in absolute humility i come in absolute before humility you God. before you help God. me help me help me help me to dispose to dispose every form of iron pride in me every iron pride in me so i can live a life so I can live a life full tank of miracles full tank of miracles full tank of yourself full tank of yourself full tank of your spirit in me lift your voice and begin to pray Lord help me kill pride every form of self exaltation in my heart in my spirit I humble myself I break myself I humble myself I break myself break 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 I kill, I kill, I kill self. I kill pride. And I humble myself before you. If my people who are called for my name, if my children who are called for my name, if the nations called for my name shall humble themselves. For God resisted the proud and give it grace to the humble. God about if you humble yourself before God, He said He will lift you up. Lord, we kill pride. We cast away pride. We reject pride from our heart, from our spirit, from our ways, from our mind, from our walk with you. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God, to humble ourselves before you, oh God, to make ourselves of no repute before you, oh God, to reduce our rank to nothing before you, oh God. We are praying that, Lord, as we humble ourselves, you indeed lift us up. As we humble ourselves, you indeed raise us up. As we humble ourselves, you indeed excel and exalt us. As we humble ourselves, you indeed promote us. We pray, oh God, as we make ourselves of no repute, oh God. As we make ourselves of no repute, oh God, we pray, oh God, we pray, oh God, we pray, oh God, that Lord you lift us up. As we humble ourselves, you lift us up. With the animals. Thank you, my Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, this last prayer point is very pivotal. 
often humble yourself. Often engage instructions that make you put God first, even when it costs you all. Often engage God's word absolutely through obedience and faith. That is something that's very pivotal. Many destinies have been buried because people talk when they shouldn't talk. Knowing when to speak is important to the life you live. Even as a pastor, there are times when the Lord tells me, wait, don't tell your ministers anything. Mm. Mm. As a servant of God, there are times when the Lord tells me, yes, I've told you this, I know your wife is your praying partner, but not yet time. You consummate this in the spirit first. Then, share. The Bible tells us how to walk in silence. Walking in silence. I shared that Bible verse here with us on Wednesday. Knowing to walk in silence. Very important. Walking in silence. To walk in silence. Apostle Peter said, many have become disorderly. Mm. But we should learn to walk in silence. Walk and walk in silence. Listen to me. To walk and walk in silence, what that means through insight, it re- the Lord is saying, discipline yourself. You know, it, take, it takes great discipline to keep quiet. It's true, sir. You can get a good news that is so exciting. You want to share it. You get a revelation, a dream that's so heavy, so exciting. You want to quickly share to your husband. But at that moment, he's not meant to hear it yet. There are some dreams you have until you, you, you that dream is dipped in the place of prayer. Don't share it outside prayer. Don't share it to the ears of people because the moment you speak it out, mm. if it's not yet fortified, it can be aborted. Yes, sir. There are some things you, you get from the Lord. Shush your mouth. Um. Tell your neighbor. Um. 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 You hush before you are rushed out of the miracle. Hush mm. before you are rushed out of your testimony. Hush. A man just showed interest in you. You didn't go to your pastor to tell him so that he can pray with you. You have told all your girlfriends. And the marine spirit fighting one of them start fighting you. Or they go behind your back and tell the man. That girl you want to, you are interested, she's a useless girl. Out of envy. Hush! Many destinies have been flushed down the suck away because of talking. The first place to open your mouth and talk is the place of prayer after you've received revelation. Yes, sir. It's the place of prayer after you have received impartation of the word. 2022, the Lord is telling me already. 2022, he's telling me in 2021, January. My life at the age of 45, I've seen it. 45. Many of you don't even know your life at the age of 16. The one you have lived, you don't even know. Hush! You will talk too much. Bridle your tongue so you can eat the bread of life. Amen. The place to talk is the place of prayer. Because the place of prayer is a place of power. Let me tell you why you should pray before you talk. When you pray, your tongues carry power. So when you speak, you can't speak wrongly. You speak with discernment. Yes, sir. Mm. <laughs> and there is something about a praying tongue that releases power and fire into a spoken word. Yes, sir. That cannot be countered by the enemy. That's why a prophet says, I declare, I declare. No devil can stop it. But it's not, it's not mere words. It's not mere words. Number two, before you share things, Learn to back your, your, your revelations up with the speaking in tongues. 
you don't many believers don't speak in tongues you speak too much english and your traditional language that is why traditional demons is they're keeping you in prison <laughs> as a believer you are you are you get a revelation you are sealing it with tongues mm. tongues of fire because why tongues is a language that the enemy cannot comprehend that's right sir the enemy don't comprehend speaking the tongue it's a gift of the spirit it's god's own gift to us is speaking the tongues is your personal customized channel to speak it to god and nobody no devil can understand what in the world you are saying are you understanding me? When you get a revelation, you get a vision, get an idea. Pray. Enter fast. Enter tongues. You are bringing the mysteries of the spirit into the vision. You are bringing mysteries. Tongues is a, is the, is the, is the language of mysteries. So when you are speaking tongues, it means you are releasing mysteries into your gifts, into the revelation, into the dream. By the time you share it in reality, it's covered with mystery. So, when someone wants to abort it, can you, can you abort what you don't understand? Not all, sir. Can you abort something that's, mis that's full of mysteries? No, sir. You, can, you only abort what you comprehend. And the light shines in darkness and the, the light is a light, a mystery. Light is the mystery of God's existence. That's why darkness cannot understand it. Are you understanding me? Yes, Light sir. is the mystery of God's existence. That's why darkness cannot fathom it. I had to break this down. So when we pray, you can be young and be a visionary. People see me, don't understand. February the 5th, the 6th and 7th, we're having a three days conference here to mark six years of me full-time in ministry, celebrating God's call upon my life and counting. People don't understand. You have done all this in six years. Shaking nations in six years. I prophesied here on, 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 on Wednesday. On plan four. We're about to share the grace. When the Spirit of God spoke. Talk to them in St. Vincent. How many of you are hearing? Yes, sir. As I'm talking to you now, St. Vincent is it's already shaking. As I speak to you now, the church line has been on fire. Internet on fire. When I was prophesying about St. Vincent, some people in St. Vincent said, I'm, I'm a false prophet. Because why? They said, they are not happy because I insulted their prime minister. Because I said the prime minister is corrupt. St. Vincent, oh St. Vincent, if your prime minister's hand is clean, let him pick up a Bible and publicly say my hand is clean. If he doesn't die in seven days, I'm not a prophet. If he doesn't die in seven days, your prime minister's hands are dirty and stained with blood. I have a message on the... Oh, don't worry, after we finish praying, I will play it out. Because I want to address St. Vincent again. Hey, someone sent me a message from St. Vincent. The same prophecy I gave, God gave them the dream. I said I saw a place with waterfalls. We found out that the name of the place... The place actually exists and it's called Trinity Falls. Remember I prophesied that that place is a demonic place. <laughs> we address some things. Hey, listen to me. You don't just speak to nations if your tongue is not strong. Hmm. It is only the truth that shakes a place. That's true, sir. Lies. Don't, it doesn't shake nothing. St. Vincent is shaking right now. As I speak to everything prophesied, I didn't even know they are happening already. A woman said as we speak, people are even packing their things, they are evacuating St. Vincent now. People are packing out of St. Vincent. When I say they will, they, are, they will pack out. When you get a vision, you put, wrap your vision, wrap your dream, wrap the revelation you got with mysteries. So when you now speak, it cannot be phantomed by enchanters, mm. stargazers, necromancers. Those are the killers of dreams revealed. The moment you say, I had a dream, necromancers, yes, they catch it. Stargazers, they catch it. Enchanters, enchanters and enchantresses, they speak mystery words as well to try and dilute and abort what you have said. 
But when you wrap your dream, your vision, your 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 your, 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 your impartation, your revelation, your revelation with the language of the spirit, you are wrapping what God has shown you with mysteries that is beyond all form of mysteries. You're going to pray tonight. Father, help me shut my mouth and help me only speak when I should. Yes? And fill my mouth with the mysteries of the power of the spirit language. Fill my mouth with the mysteries of what? The power of spirit language, meaning the language of the spirit. Fill my mouth with the power of spirit, what? Spirit language, the mystery of that power. Lift your hands up, we're going to take that prayer. Now, before we take that prayer, how many of you, at some point in your life, you had an idea? Or let me, okay, let me, let me drop some of your patterns because it has happened to you. You. It has happened to you. 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 Oh, let, me, let, me, let me tell you what has happened to you. Once you have something in your mind comes, when you don't say it, it goes, it, it goes well. The moment you share even a percent of it, you start experiencing delays. It's like it doesn't even happen. I mean, if it has happened to you. Let me see your hand. The moment you open your mouth like this, the one you don't say, it's like you just go, Pion, it just happens. The one you now share, the one, the one you share, it's like delays, battle upon battle. It's because your tongue is too weak for what you released. So something stronger countered it. When you speak, there's what we call tongue of fire. Meaning you are putting and wrapping your vision with mysteries. So when it comes out, it's coming with the kind of velocity and capacity, intensity that an enemy, a satanic entity cannot fathom. They move out of the way. Nobody can catch a fireball. That's all, sir. Nobody catches fireball. You see fireball coming, you take over. Because you catch it, you explode. You get burnt and it keeps moving. Hmm. Who catches fireball? Have you seen them um, this um, in battle? These um, um, shotguns, yes, those sir. Um, ones they use in those days. Mm. You put fire, boom, you shoot. Have you seen anybody catch it? <laughs> there is no goalkeeper in the Premier League <laughs> that catches that one. You catch it, your glove will catch fire. You lose your hand. You won't live to tell how it was shot and the speed it came. I mean, the ball. There is something about that shotgun. The ball with fire and the mystery at which it moves. It's time to wrap your visions with mysteries. And it's called the language of the spirit. Mm. Open your mouth and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Come on, lift your voice and say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Come on, say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Come on, hala, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Help me shut my mouth. 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 Give me the discipline. Give me the discipline. Someone say. Give me the discipline. Give me the discipline to speak. To speak when needed. When needed. Give me the discipline. Give me the discipline to speak. To speak when needed. When needed. Give me the discipline. Give me the discipline to speak. To speak when needed. When needed. And oh Lord. And oh Lord. Empower my tongue. Empower my tongue with the mysteries of the spirit. Of the spirit. Empower my tongue. Empower my tongue with the mysteries. With the mystery of the spirit. Of the spirit. Lift up your voice. Open your mouth and begin to fire tongues. Ilaka tapa ya kataya. Lebe reke deke 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 sha. Ezeke tika balakula kada. Lebe reke deke 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 sha. Birke leke deke 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 sha. Ezuku zuku sada. Elebe sika tuka. Ashakwa tache eleke. Lord help me, help me. I can't control my tongue. Out of the abundance of the mouth, out the mouth And the power of life and death. Is in the tongue. Help me control my tongue. Help me use my tongue. 
Help me speak when I need to speak. Help me shut my mouth when I need to shut my mouth. That I may, I may not abort my destiny. May I, uh, Lord, may I walk in silence when you want me to walk in silence. The faith and the discipline to walk in silence. The faith and the discipline for me to walk in silence. The faith and the discipline for me to walk in silence, Lord. I receive it tonight. The faith, the discipline to walk in silence. I receive it tonight. I receive it tonight. I receive it tonight. I receive it tonight. The faith, the discipline to walk in silence. I receive it, I receive it, Lord. Lord, empower my tongue with the mysteries of the Spirit. Empower my tongue with the mysteries of the Spirit, Lord. When I speak a word, my word shall be wrapped up with the mysteries of the Spirit, Lord. Whenever I reveal my plans to execute, nothing shall steal it, nothing shall kill it, nothing shall stop it, nothing shall stagnate it, nothing shall stay about it. Nothing shall abort it. Lord, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me, help me, help me. Help me, help me, help me. Fire pray, you better pray, you better pray. You have 30 more seconds. 30 more seconds. Zepakabolodosh. Pray, 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 pray. Empower my mouth with the language of the Spirit. Empower my mouth with the language of the Spirit. My vision shall not die. My vision shall not be killed. My dream shall not be killed. My dream shall not be killed. My dream shall not be aborted. In the name of Jesus, shout your letters, Amen. Amen. Lift up your hands. I pray for you. I prophesy tonight, Professor, that from this moment, from this moment. In any way, your mouth has been your obstacle. In the name of Jesus. In any way, our mouth has been our problem. Today, the mercy of God intervenes in Jesus' name. Amen. In any way, your mouth has made you miss blessings. In any way, your mouth has made you miss opportunities. In any way, our mouth has made us miss favor. Today, receive mercy. Amen. Receive mercy. Amen. I speak to someone's mouth here. Place your right hand on your um your vocal cords, not esophagus. The vocal cords. Just there. That, that's the place, right? Vocal cords there. I'm gonna pray for someone. Those that want to carry the mysteries of the spirit in their mouths. As I pray now, that power, when you speak a word, that ruggedity in the spirit that no satanic entity can stop. As you place your hands on your vocal cords, Whenever you speak from this day, wherever you're watching, even online, whenever you speak from this day, everyone here under the sound of my voice, whenever you speak from this day, the voice of God shall be heard. Amen. I said the voice of God shall be heard. Amen. The Bible says the voice of God thundereth. Listen. I'm a shaka sata. Whenever you have ever spoken and the enemy comprehends you and keep your voice limited, from this day, thunder shall respond when you speak. Amen. In every witchcraft coven, in every altar of demons, in every dark places, whenever you speak forth a word, 
Thunder shall be heard. Amen. Thunder shall be heard. Amen. Thunder shall be heard. Amen. The Bible says the voice of God divided the waters. Hear me? From this day, your voice will divide, dismantle, and scatter every form of resistance whenever you pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Nothing shall withhold your prayer. Amen. Nothing shall withstand your prayer. Amen. Nothing shall stop your declaration. Amen. Nothing shall abort your confession. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And I prophesy. Prophesy. Whenever you prophesy over your life, Nothing shall bury that prophecy. Amen. All your prophecies shall manifest. 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 Amen. Lift your voice shall manifest. Manifest. In the name of Jesus. Amen.